alright fellas in this video we are going to see how you can install the templates in the premiere pro so first of all you would need to download the template for the premiere pro and mostly you will be provided with the premiere pro zipped file that is used for the template so that they can transfer you the lower file size to download and install easily you will be provided with the premiere pro templates in the zip file you need to right click on this and you need to go to open with and once you are at inside you will need to click on WinRAR. you will only see the option WinRAR if you have WinRAR downloaded and installed on your pc so make sure to have WinRAR installed on your pc first and then you will be able to see this option so once you are done click on WinRAR. and once you are at inside you will be provided with the folders that follows the naming convention for example for mac os x if you need to install the templates in the premiere pro on the mac you can go right inside that but for the Premiere Pro, you need to click this folder. Once you dive inside, you will be provided with a help file that contains all the tutorials and the help files that you need to install the templates in the Premiere Pro. And next, you have the master files that contains your Premiere Pro templates. In this case, I have lower thirds and these are the MOGRT files. These are the files that are used in the Premiere Pro. We are concerned with the master files because it it all has the lower thirds so you need to go to the parent directory for example this is the parent directory you need to click on the specific folder that you want to export or extract you need to select this folder you need to click on extract tool and you need to specify the path where you want to extract this folder that contains the premium pro templates so you need to click on desktop and you need to click on ok you can specify the path as per your needs and click on ok the 10 corporate lower thirds for premiere pro has been extracted from the zip file and you need to click on this once you are right inside we are only concerned with the master files because it has the mogrt files so now let us go right inside the premiere pro oh, right, fellas. so as you can see i am right inside my premiere pro 2023 version it also works for the 2024 the procedure is same no matter in which version you are right inside the premiere pro it works for all premiere pro versions once you are right inside make sure first of all you need to go to file and you need to navigate to project settings and make sure to navigate to general once you are right inside make sure the renderer under video rendering and playback it is selected as mercury playback engine gpu acceleration it can be CUDA, OpenCL or OpenGL. It depends upon your hardware configuration. So make sure you select your GPU acceleration and click on OK. Next, you need to navigate to the window and you need to make sure you select essential graphics because we are going to import the MOGRT files directly into this essential graphics panel. So you need to click on this. Once you do so, you will have the essential graphics panel in the right side of your Premiere Pro and you need to go to the window again and make sure it is marked as tick so once you are right inside the essential graphics make sure you are in the browse and also make sure you select your local templates folder and now you need to open the folder that we left with the master files this is the master file that contains all the mogrt files so you can open this over the premium pro and you need to select this you need to hold the shift key and press arrow key it will select all the files or the MOGRT that we are going to import in the Premiere Pro. Or you can simply select one MOGRT file and hit Ctrl plus A to select all the files in this folder. So once you're done, you need to click this and hold it and drag it into the Essential Graphics panel. And you need to drop it. Once you do so, it will take some time, it will load it and it will be imported into the essential graphics panel. And if you want to load it manually, you can also do that. Let me open this folder completely so that you can understand it better. You need to select all these files. You need to grab it and drag it into the Premiere Pro just like this. And you need to drop it just like here. As you can see, I have nine files and it says copy. It means that I can drop it here and it is perfectly fine. So I'm not gonna do that this time because I have already done it. I will leave it here because I can see the uh, not allowed or disabled icon in the bottom. So once you're done, you need to note down the name. The name written here is lower third 01 
and it goes on to 09 so I'm gonna go back to the Premiere Pro and I'm gonna search for lower as you can see I can see all the files with the lower thirds but I want to specifically find the 010203 I can see the pattern here which is 0 so if I search for this I can see only the files that I have imported into the Premiere Pro so this is lower third 01209 so in order to use it you need to click on any MOGRT file in the essential graphics you need to drag it into your timeline just like this so as you can see this is the lower third 01 that I'm using so as soon as I click on this I can see the essential graphics has gone to the edit and now I can edit anything I want with all the controls so first of all as you can see the text is out of my scope or out of my boundaries so what I need to do I need to select this lower third 01 and I need to go to the effects control and I can see the motion here so you can play with this motion and see if you can adjust the text here easily so for the scale let me go with 50 as you can see I can see the text here as soon as I have reduced the scale to 50 if I further reduce it, it it will become smaller so I think so the 50 is the best resolution that I can go with you can also change its position just like this if you drag it to the right it will move to the right if you drag it to the left it will move to the left so I will reset it by pressing ctrl Z so right now you can play around with these settings in the effects control and if you want to change something here I need to click on lower third and I will go to the name as you can see the William here is written so I will write the name as Flexity as soon as you apply the changes you need to click anywhere you want so if I click here uh, this name will be changed to Flexity so if I want to change its font I will click on this and I will search for Arial Black so the font will be applied to that specific text and if I want to make it bold I can do that if I want to make it italic I can also do that so there are many settings that you can go with if you want to increase its size you can also drag it to the right or the left there is a flexibility that you can customize your own templates so right now I can go with for example in this case I will write YouTube and I can click on any part of this Premiere Pro in it and it will be updated automatically for the text properties I will go with Arial bold italic and it is just like this and if you want to see something that you cannot see you can drag your windows and adjust it accordingly so that you can see it better and you can also use this select zoom level feature for example I can go with 75% and I can navigate to the perfect window where I can see everything clearly visible so you can play around these with these settings and for the colors this is the very important this is the name color this is the surname color and this is the position color for example if I change the color of the name for example in this in this case this is the flexity here I will click on this I will select my desired color for example red I will click on ok it will be applied to the name similarly for the surname I will go with this is the something like brownish color that's fine you can also change the position of the complete layer just like this if you drag the positions you can also zoom in and out just like this with the slider so this is how you can import the templates and edit it easily in the Premiere Pro. So let me know in the comment section if you found this video helpful and tutorial helpful. And if you found this helpful, leave the comment down below. And I will make more tutorials on it soon. So that's it. I hope you learned something new today. And that's it. I hope you like this video. And make sure to like and subscribe this channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.